Hello and welcome to Marbula E, presented by Envision Virgin Racing around the marbled streets of Paris. This is going to be a very entertaining race in partnership with Jelly's Marbles. My name is Jack Nichols, and there's the Place Vauban after the start. We've got attack mode in the form of a ramp this afternoon, so this is going to be very interesting to see how the various marbles attack this ramp. Will any of them get caught on that flicker in the middle? But this recreation of the Paris circuit is about to see qualifying commence in a one-by-one -one formation. And the marbles have packed into the grandstands to watch this unfold. A full entry list then. All 12 teams are here. Audi will be first up, then BMW, DS Toshita, Envision Virgin Racing, Geox Dragon, Mahindra, Mercedes, Neo, Nissan, Jaguar, Porsche, and Rocket Venturi Racing will go out one by one until we have the grid set for the first Marbula E Prix. First up then to the line is going to be Audi. This is our first look at the Paris circuit. To the right-hander at turn one, then through the Place Vauban, looping around onto the back straight. Then through attack mode. And out around to complete the lap, and Audi sets the benchmark lap time of a 16.25. Next up is BMW to try and beat that lap time. Looked a little slower through the first couple of corners. Out onto the back straight, we'll get the first split in a moment. And he's away by about half a second. Across the line. And BMW slots into second place. Still some good lap times there. Next up to Cheetah. Very, very smooth through the first sequence of corners. Here comes the first sector split. Just after attack mode. And they're up by almost a second. What a great run this is from Tachita. And they go to provisional pole position. Envision, Virgin Racing next. Well, I looked a little slow through that first sequence down the back straight. Robin Freintz won this race last year for the Envision Virgin Racing team. But they're over a second down at the first split over the line. And it's slowest of the four marbles we've had so far. Straight in now with Jayox Dragon. Nice line, but just caught the inside wall on the run to that final corner. That's going to compromise the run down the back straight. As a result, they're about seven tenths of a second away from Audi. At the split, across the line, and it is second. So very, very good run there for Dragon to slot into second on the grid at the moment. Next up, we've got Mahindra. Down the back straight through attack mode. And oh, I looked a little bit clunky through there. Maybe a bit too much speed down the ramp. And Mahindra across the line. They still go second, though. Mercedes EQ next up. That was a very neat and tidy first sector from Mercedes. What's it say on the split, though? Oh, they're just six thousandths away from Tachita. This is going to be really tight. Mercedes across the line. And it's pole. Provisional pole position for the time being. What can Neo 333 do? Not spectacular, but a very neat line, especially out onto the back straight. And they're only a tenth away from Mercedes in the first half of the lap. Neo slot into second. Four more teams left to run. First is Nissan. Again, just glancing that inside wall through the right-hander onto the back straight. Down the ramp. That looked very quick through there. They're seven-tenths away, halfway through the lap. And then they come across the line in seventh place. So a bit of a disappointing performance there for Nissan. And now Jaguar. Neat and tidy. What does the first sector split say? A second away. Clunky through those next sequence of corners as well and Jaguar slots into ninth place two teams left to run Porsche are the first can they get and challenge the top five here halfway through they're only three tenths away took a lot of speed down the ramp and into the walls Porsche across the line and that's good fourth place they'll be happy with that but now it's Rocket Venturi racing last up Mercedes on pole position at the moment. 
with a 16.25 second run. Oh, and look at that. Venturi are up by a tenth of a second through the final two corners. And Venturi take pole. What a run. 15.29 seconds. This shows you, though, just how close that qualifying was. 15.29 for Rocket Venturi Racing, just edging out Mercedes-Benz EQ, Neo 3-3, Fee in third, Diesta Cheetah and Tagoya Porsche completing the top five. It's race time in the Marbulerie, presented by Envision Virgin Racing in Paris. There's the grid, all set to go. The key is to keep your eye on one of the favourites rather than trying to watch all the marbles at the same time. Five and a half minutes plus one lap. And we go rolling in Paris. Down into turn one and it's a big, big, busy first corner. And it is Rocket Venturi Racing that have emerged in the lead. Make sure to let us know who you're supporting in the comments. Jaguar trying to make up positions in the order. Envision Virgin Racing look like they're still at the back. At the end of lap one is Venturi in the lead then. Tenchita second. Mercedes third but not for long. Neo 333, the bright blue marble, comes up into second place. And that allows Rocket Venturi Racing to get a really good lead. Although immediately Diaz to Cheetah are closing back in. Through attack mode and to the end of lap two. Venturi in front, Tachita second. Nissan third, but Tachita make their move to the front now. Diaz Tachita out in first place. Nissan are into second position, and they might even be into the lead. No, not quite. Tachita in the clear marble out in front. Nissan in the red and black marble right behind. Four and a half minutes plus a lap to go. Third at the moment is Rocket Venturi still. Mercedes in fourth place. Ahead of the white marble of Dragon. Neo 333, after being briefly into the lead, have slipped back to sixth position. Maybe struggling with their efficiency a little bit. End of another lap. It's still Audi and Envision bringing up the rear in those Audi powered marbles. Nissan and Tachita, though, looking fairly comfortable out in front. Don't forget Rocket with a marble that started on pole position they've dropped down to fourth place behind Mercedes in third fifth is Dragon sixth is BMW Porsche and Mahindra having quiet races in eighth and ninth there's the change for a third place BMW making the move and now getting up into second place what a charge from the blue BMW and all of a sudden Tachita who were leading have dropped down to fourth position Three and a half minutes plus a lap to go. Nissan under big pressure from BMW up at the front. There's a bit of contact and BMW are through. And Nissan might lose out here to Mercedes and they have. So BMW in front. Mercedes second, Nissan third. Fourth is Tachita. Venturi and Dragon just had a big coming together. But look at the lead now for BMW. Absolutely huge. Down the back straight. It's close for third and fourth. Tachita getting ahead in Nissan. They're still side by side. And then in come Dragon to try and get him into fourth place. And they've done it. Look at that. Side by side. They're for second position. And now Mercedes trying to attack BMW for the lead. Two huge German manufacturers. Marble to marble. Hashtag Paris M Prix if you want to get in touch. There's more episodes of this to come on the Envision Virgin Racing's YouTube channel. But at the moment, they won't like what they're seeing down in 12th position. BMW in the lead. Mercedes in second. Still absolutely neck and neck as they go down the back straight through attack mode. Nothing to separate them at all. Two minutes plus a lap to go. And oh, I think they're going to be side by side coming up at the start of this new lap. And Mercedes are in front. They got a great run. Onto the start, finish straight, and now Mercedes are pulling away. BMW second, Tachita third, Mahindra fourth, Venturi fifth. As I say that, Venturi go up to fourth. One minute, or one and a half minutes, plus a lap to go. Marbles have been popular for thousands of years. As far back as 3000 BC in Egypt. But this is the Paris Empire. 
and it's got Mercedes out in front. BMW under pressure from a resurgent Rocket Venturi Racing. Who, having started second on the grid, dropped back down the order a little, but now trying to get back up into that second spot. Mercedes looking fairly calm out in front. BMW get a good run through attack zone. So do Dragon. They're closing in on uh, Rocket as well. Rocket Venturi Racing. Less than a minute plus a lap to go. Audi have made a move up into eighth place. So they were running 11th earlier on, but they have climbed up the order now. Envision still at the back. It's right together for the lead though. There are Envision running at the back of the field. Mercedes pulling away in front of BMW. It looks like Mercedes might have this one in the bag. What can Mercedes do in the closing stages? What can BMW do to try and close them down? I think we can get two or three more laps out of this. It's very close. Oh, what a move. Rocket Venturi up into third position. Absolutely lunged one past Dragon. And the clock has ticked down to zero. So this now the final lap of the race and Venturi are into second. Mercedes are looking strong up in the front though. Can Venturi hold on to second? BMW are right with them. They're neck and neck out onto the back straight. But it's Mercedes through attack mode for the final time. They are going to win the Marbula E Empri at Paris. Venturi second, BMW third, Dragon fourth, Neo completing the top five. And then Envision Virgin racing across the line in 12th position. Here's a look at the results then. After five and a half minutes plus one lap of racing, Mercedes-Benz EQ victorious, half a second in the end, ahead of Rocket Venturi Racing, who managed to just finish in front of BMW I. Andretti, j -Ox Dragon in fourth, Neo 333 in fifth. Diesta Cheetah will be frustrated because they started up at the front and ended falling back down the order. As it's the first race, the championship standings reflect that. Mercedes on top of the standings after race one in the Jelly Marbles Paris e Prix. So the podium celebration's underway, and it is Mercedes-Benz EQ that pick up the first trophy of the season. They move to the top of the championship. Keep your eyes peeled for more Marbula e to come on the Envision Virgin Racing YouTube channel.